let's look at our next limit question. So I want you to find each limit. And we're going to look for the limit as x goes to 1 from the left, x squared minus 3x over x minus 1. And I also want you to find the limit as x goes to 1 from the right of that same function. So the first thing we're going to do is use what we learned about vertical asymptotes. We're going to take this function and factor the numerator and denominator. The denominator won't factor anymore. I can factor an x out of the top. And I see that my only vertical asymptote is x equals 1. And so this tells us some information about our limits. In particular, what I learned is that this means that my two limits I'm asked to find, the left-hand limit and then the right-hand limit, These are one of two possible things. They're either infinity or negative infinity. And so what you can do is you can either graph the function, either graph h of x, or plug in numbers plug in numbers close to 1. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in some numbers. So I want to use the factored form of my function. It was x, x minus 3 over x minus 1. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the left-hand limit. If I'm doing the left-hand limit, I need to look at numbers a little bit smaller than 1. So let's go with 0 0.5, and we're going to plug it into our function. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus 3, 0 0.5 minus 1. Now really, you don't have to be concerned with the exact value here. You just need to focus on is it positive or negative. So if I look here, this first part is positive. This second part right here, that is negative. And then in the denominator, if I look here, that part is negative as well. So in the numerator, I have a positive times a negative. That'll be negative divided by negative. That is positive. So overall, I'm getting a positive here. So that means that if I'm looking at this left-hand limit, of my function, it's going to be positive infinity. And now you're going to repeat this, but pick a number. For the right-hand limit, you need a little bit bigger than 1. So pick 1.5, plug it into your function. And again, just worry about the sign here. So this is a positive, positive. This one right here is a negative. And this one right here is going to be positive. So it looks like I'll have a negative over positive. Overall, this is going to be negative. So if I look now at my right-hand limit of my function, this limit will be negative infinity.